Yo, that's it, boys. I'm moving to Nova Scotia. I got buyer's remorse with the nation I was born into. When the trailer park boys are more qualified to lead, and they sign every contract but they can't even read, the guy we just elected can make the words out, maybe, but then he doesn't abide by them and does whatever he wants anyway. Is it better to obey a social contract and adapt to the manners of standing on ceremony and respect for others having a moral compass learning from history's map? Or is it justice for me to have to self-censor and be forced to hang up my hat? When democracy is dumbed down to its lowest common denominator, the people end up appointing an unpopular and destructive dictator. They think there's an economic crisis for the dwindling middle class, and not enough jobs exist, so they cry out for leadership to any fiat capitalist. Listen in closely and I'll tell you a secret. Being rewarded in monopoly money for objectification pageantry doesn't earn my respect for your social status. Playing that game doesn't even qualify you for a marriage license. Name one job that the president should create. Go on, try to think of one. I'll sit here and wait. And you think a greedy businessman would cut your taxes? Now that once in office, your savings will become state assets. I'm telling y'all, when Alex Jones and Bob Dobbs alone invent self-fulfilling prophecies, then we're damn dumb and deserve doom and gloom. The Amway salesmen surround the room. We're locked in on a flaming, sinking boat where only lunatic anarchists vote. So do the fearmonger gloat. Do the fearmonger gloat. It's as easy as three, two, one. All you gotta do is be a pushy bully and do whatever you want. Pull a rolling stop. There's no cops, and if you get caught, so what? Later you can rely on unfairly bargaining your way out. Harden your heart, because through the storm is the only way out. Get ready to not be allowed to think outside a very small and rigid box. I used to think irony was the pinnacle of naturally governed human law, but now I realize it's the principle that something will always go wrong. When it's better to be a loser on the ethical side of modern history than to be proven correct about predicting the worst as inevitable, then it's time to consider expatriation from not just the nation, but from all ontological reality itself. So where's some hallucinogens? Peace.